Sugar addiction is a real problem. However, I've noticed that a lot of people don't seem to realize that every time they ingest sugar or any food containing sugar, what they're actually doing is poisoning themselves. Over and over again, research has proven that sugar is more addictive than cocaine and that every time you eat a chocolate bar or take a super sweet Starbucks coffee, you increase the likelihood of you developing one of these many diseases. Cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, cancer, obesity, and much, much more. So, in this video, I'm not only going to discuss sugar addiction and the damage it does to your body, but practical steps to help you break this deadly addiction. We've always been told that sugar has many negative effects, both for the body and mind. Weight gain, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease are among the major complications of chronic consumption of excessive sugar. But how is this addiction established? According to Dr. Robert Lustig, a pediatric endocrinologist who's best known for his work promoting anti-sugar diets, sugar, in the forms of sucrose and fructose, is like poison due to its negative effects on the neurotransmitter systems of the body. This addiction can be explained as a cycle, perpetually becoming stronger and stronger every single time we ingest and consume sugar. When sugar is consumed into the body, blood sugar levels spike, releasing high amounts of opioids and dopamine in the brain, which gives you a tremendous satisfying sensation. This process is called reward. Meanwhile, acetylcholine levels, and that's another neurotransmitter, are diminished, a process which intervenes in tolerance. After this, high levels of insulin are produced by the pancreas to decrease your glycemic levels, which results in a rapid fall. This causes immediate fat storage by the cells to occur. The cycle continues with the craving for more sugar to replenish its loss, along with a displeasurable sensation. With time, your body will increase the amount of sugar you consume in order to increase the release of opioids and dopamine levels that are giving you that same satisfying sensation you had in the beginning. This whole cycle leads to compulsive eating and binging, making this addiction even more difficult to break. As stated before, chronic abuse of sugar is proven to lead to some pretty serious diseases. Type 2 diabetes is the best example of one of the negative side effects of this addiction. Consuming high amounts of sugar leads to massive production of insulin by the pancreas. After several years of overconsuming sugar and overproducing insulin, the pancreas begins its degenerative process, diminishing the insulin levels you produce. Due to this, higher and higher levels of glycemia presence lead to the appearance of type 2 diabetes and its complications. Normally, the liver turns sugar into fat, storing it. But with this condition, the excessive storage of sugar leads to a disease called fatty liver, which results in the dysfunction of every liver process. With time, high amounts of sugar in the bloodstream will affect the vascular system, leading to high blood pressure and heart disease. A common complication of diabetes is diabetic neuropathy, a condition that results in the damage of small blood vessels that nourish nerves, which leads to a series of symptomatology that can conclude with an amputation. But, the complications of sugar addiction don't only affect the body, they also affect the mind. When high levels of blood sugar are stored by the cells, opioids and dopamine levels also fall, producing a severe sensation of fatigue and displeasure. This feeling can lead to abnormal behavior that can only be countered with the consumption of higher and higher levels of sugar. I know this is a lot of information to take in, but I wanted you guys to know the harmful effects you're doing to yourselves every time you take sugar. We can live and thrive without sugar. Our ancestors did. But today, sugar is in everything we eat. The multi-billion dollar food industry doesn't want you to give up sugar. Their sales depend on it. That's why they sneak sugar into everything, labeling those foods as low fat or free from artificial flavors. Although those statements might be true, they're simply masking sugar-laden products with a false claim that they're healthy and good for you. For example, from just one serving of iced tea, you'll end up with nearly 9 teaspoons of sugar. A single cup of 245 milligram low-fat yogurt contains about 12 teaspoons of sugar, and for all you coffee lovers, a flavored coffee drink can contain as much as 25 teaspoons of sugar. That's shocking, right? So, if you want to overcome this addiction, here are a few things you can do. Number 1. Clean your house. Start your recovery process by removing all sugar and processed foods and donate them or throw them in the trash. With this, you'll reduce temptations and make it much harder to give in to your craving. Search through your cupboards, pantry, and kitchen for all those unhealthy and sugary snacks and drinks and take control of the situation. Number 2. Substitute your sweets for whole fruits. Fruits can be a very satisfying treat, 
Plus, they're full of vitamins and micronutrients. But, be careful with the amount you consume because some of these have high sugar content. For this reason, avoid grapes or cherries. Number 3. Drink plenty of water. It's well known that chronic dehydration can increase sugar cravings, slow down your metabolism, and stimulate fat storage. You should drink a minimum of 8 glasses of water every day. Number 4. Eat balanced meals. Consume the nutrients that your body craves with healthy meals. Remember to have carbohydrates, proteins, and fats in every meal. Prepare healthy snacks and carry them to have in the morning and afternoon. Number 5. Lower your stress levels. Do regular physical activity, yoga sessions, and meditation. These activities will consume the extra sugar in your body and at the same time will liberate that annoying stress which can lead to more cravings. Also, you need at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep per day. So, there you have it guys. Overcoming your sugar addiction is a sure way to a healthier and more energetic life.